Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, hi my name is Veronica and I'm known in the booktube community as Scarlet Book Nerd as well as over on Instagram. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notifications bell so that you will know when I post another video. This video is going to be about two things. First, a life update, and second, I actually have a brand new subscription box to unbox for you guys. So if you want to see what the box is, then stick around, stay tuned. So for the life update, obviously my setting has changed. I recently moved this month with my fiance and our friends and we went from, originally my fiance and I living in the trailer that I used to own with my mom to staying in an apartment and now we are in our very own townhouse and this is a brand new adventure for all of us. The second part of my life update is I recently just started a new job. I am now officially a Disney cast member. I'm working at our local Disney store. So trying to now adjust booktube with work and a move has been a little chaotic. That's why I don't have my studio set up yet. I have my shelves are set up and a few of my books over here off to the side but I'm waiting to get the rest of my books out of storage and when I do I will definitely be filming in front of my books later on. The second thing is I actually reached out to a subscription box company called I Smell Books and I reached out to the owner, Terry, and she is an amazing woman. I can't rave enough about her company just from what I've seen alone from their website and her Instagram photos. And it's a cute it's a cute and catchy title for her company, I Smell Books. Open, sniff, read, repeat. And honestly, who doesn't sniff a book when they first pick it up? I know it might sound kind of weird to people, but in this case, it's not so weird. It's actually pretty normal to fellow book readers and book lovers. But I did reach out to her about being a possible rep, and luckily, I have been chosen as a rep. I do have a rep code for you guys. I will put it in the description link down below. It is Scarlet20, and if you use my discount code, you can save 20% off of your subscription box. Now I did reach out to her earlier this week and she was very kind enough to send me this box which is the October box and I will also be a rep for the November and December boxes as well. This just came in the mail today and believe me I wanted to open this immediately but I actually had to wait because I did want to film my reaction live in front of you guys. So, let's get ready to take a sneak peek into the box. Please feel free to grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready for the unboxing. Now with this box, I have tried to avoid seeing spoilers on Instagram and on Facebook, but it's pretty hard to do when the posts are on there. So I would just, I would see like a key item and I would know, oh hey, don't look, don't look, just keep scrolling, do not look, because I didn't want to ruin it for myself. I wanted to be able to see this for the first time with all of you and so you can see my genuine reaction. The only thing I did do was I just cut the tape right before I started filming so it would make it a little bit easier. Because as most of you know, I do have a hard time trying to open a box on camera without everything falling out. So here we go with our very first sneaky cheat. Sneaky cheat peek. Words are not my friends tonight, guys. <laughs> as you can see, this is the inside. 
inside of the box. I'm trying to hold everything down so it won't fall out. Now, Terry did tell me that she was sending some extra swag in this box for me to either keep for a giveaway for later on, which I actually will most likely be doing because I recently have reached 500 followers over on Instagram. And you can follow me over on Instagram at Scarlet Book Nerd. And to every one of you who has followed me, I appreciate it so much. You guys have no idea. I have worked so hard on trying to build up my follower account. And obviously it's paying off. You guys are sticking around even though I'm absent here and there and I try not to be. I really do want to keep up on top of filming and my bookstagram. But the first thing that we do have are these small stickers and it is her logo with the company name I Smell Books, Open, Sniff, Read, Repeat with the little glasses. And there are actually three of those stickers here. Then we also have the same design but it is a larger sticker then we also have enamel pins and it is the logo of it actually looks like it's actually Terry and it's a woman actually sniffing an open book It is a really neat enamel pin, and I believe that this is the first pin I've actually gotten from a book subscription box before. At the end of the video, I will tell you about another opportunity that I do have coming my way later this month or it's next month. I can't quite remember, but I will tell you more about it at the end of the video. There are two more pins. So I will be definitely keeping one for myself and I will probably be putting the others in a giveaway for later on. But now that the stickers are out of the way, we are, you can actually see it is the box with black tissue paper with one of the I Smell Book stickers on top. So let's open this on up and see what is inside. And this, the first thing I have here is a card. It is a welcome card. And it says, Welcome to I Smell Books subscription box. I Smell Books is excited to announce our monthly photo contest for our October box. It's all about getting creative. Decorate your October box with your interpretation of the monthly theme and post to your Instagram and Facebook with the hashtag Dark Dark Crush Forbidden You may use paints, colored pencils, crayons, glitter, etc. Receive entries for posting on both platforms. Now this is actually going on I believe until either today or tomorrow. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. I did see a post about it on Facebook. Now, while this is October 29th when I'm filming this, the video might go up tonight or it might go up tomorrow. I'm not quite sure yet when I'm going to be able to upload it. But if you do miss out on the contest, don't worry. I'm sure that there will be another contest another time. The next item that we have is actually, I believe they are socks. I will open and find out. And they are socks. And it looks, <laughs> it looks like a cute little monster. And that is really sweet. They are very soft 
It is perfect for the fall and going into the winter season because I know I'm always cold and I know I can always use an extra pair of warm socks. So thank you very much, Terry, for including these in there. They will definitely get a lot of use out of them. Next we have a pencil and it's actually carved out of a piece of a tree and you can actually see the tree bark. This is different. I've never actually had a pencil technically carved right from a tree. That is definitely unique and I will use it. Absolutely I'll be using it. Next we have, let's see, oh my god, there's actually gummy bears in here. Red, a package of red gummy bears. I love gummy bears. If you ask my fiance, he'll tell you I do love gummy bears. I love them ever since I was a little kid. That was always like a special treat from going to the movies. Then... Next item in the box is actually another of these stickers. And since I do a lot of bullet journaling, I can definitely put those stickers to good use. And our next piece of information in here, it actually is a card and it says congratulations. You are among 50 subscribers who've received an author signature plate. I did see something about this on Instagram and Facebook that it was going to be randomly placed in different boxes for the chance for you to have an author plate signed, which is really neat. I only have, I believe, one or two other books that I have that are actually signed by an author. But this box was sent to me for free, I did not have to pay for it, as I am a rep now for the company, uh, the boxes will be sent to me. And here we actually have the signed plate that the card was talking about by the author. And our next item is actually a spoiler card. But on the front is a beautiful picture with a fox and trees. And it says, and then worst of all, he grinned. And oh, what a dangerous look that was. Trouble tucked into the corners of his mouth like sin. And then the author's name is Ashley Poston. Now, on the back of my head said, this is a spoiler card, so I'm not going to look at this right now, but I will tell you the theme was Dark, Cursed, Forbidden. And the other bit that we have here, it says, it's another card that says, Open, Snap, Tag, Share. This is where the fun begins. And this is telling you about taking photos that there is pretty much like a contests in a way where you're taking the pictures of your box and the goodies inside and sharing it on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter and using the hashtag I smell books. Next up we have be a tote bag. Yes, it is. It is a small tote bag, small canvas tote bag, and it has the logo and I smell books, open, snip, read, and repeat. This is actually great for going out and taking a book with you whenever you're going to go out to the store, or if you just want to go for a car ride somewhere and you don't want to really wait around in the store with another person. You can always put your book in there and read it. Next up we have a pack of tea. It is from Novel Tea Company. 
Briar Rose Among the Jasmine Organic Herbal Tea. And it does have the ingredients listed here. And honestly, it's actually a loose leaf tea. And I'm actually going to open it because it is a resealable bag. So I'm going to give this a sniff and then let you know what it smells like. get the package open. Oh, there we go. Mmm, you do definitely smell the jasmine. Oh, that is definitely nice. I am definitely going to be having a cup of this in the near future as soon as I can bring over my uh, tea, like that kind of like a tea strainer cup for my Keurig machine. I'll have to bring that over from storage when I get my books. Definitely. And in here, she also included the little tea bags for the tea. So you can put this in the little bags instead of, if you don't have a tea strainer, you can put them in the little bags and then just tie it off. Makes it a little bit easier for those who don't have that. Next thing we have in here are some another pin, and this is actually of a bird. I'm actually going to take this one out of the packaging to show you guys a little bit better. I'm sorry if this video seems a little awkward, guys. I haven't filmed in a while, so I'm trying to get back into the hang of things again. There we go. And that is really pretty. I do like it. And then we also have something else in here. It's a little deer. It looks like it could be a page clip. But it's like a little fawn. And that is really cute. And we also have... Hmm. Do not know. Let me see what this could be. I'm not quite sure. Let me just really quick check the spoiler card. Uh, hmm. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find, read the spoiler card and trying to find out what this could be. Uh, let me see. You know what? We're going to wait till the end and figure out what this item is. I'm sorry guys, it took me so long just to get to that point. Let's see the book for last because there are still some more goodies in here. Next up, we actually have a sleeping mask and this is actually of a fox so it goes with the theme on the spoiler card and this is really soft and fuzzy but it is so cute and I love that and it does have the elastic band at the back so I will definitely be trying this out um, one evening pretty soon and then the last item in the box before we get to the book is actually a bookmark and it is the same image on both sides it is of the fox looking at you through the rose, it looks like it's a rose bush and it has the cute little tassel, I do love that. And then the last thing we have in here is actually the book itself. And it is called Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston. And the summary for this, I will read it, just a section of it.
Sorry's is saved in the kingdom of Aloria. Here there are no droughts, thieves, or famine, and peace is everlasting. It has been this way for hundreds of years since the first king made a bargain with the lady who ruled the forest that borders the kingdom. But as Aloria pr prospered, the woods grew dark, cursed, and forbidden. Ceres, or Ceres knows this all too well. When she was young, she barely escaped as the woods killed her friends and her mother. Now Ceres carries a small bit of the curse, the magic in her blood, a reminder of the day she lost everything. But it does go on to include about there's a new queen that's crowned, but that things that were long hidden in the woods. And it sounds like Siri has to run with her companions and a small irritating fox to the royal garden. And it's up to her to find the legendary lady of the wild and beg for a way to save her home. So this definitely sounds like an interesting book. I will look forward to reading this very soon. Now, back to the spoiler card with the mystery item that I couldn't figure out what it was. On here, I would say it's the October 2020 box, and this is actually the very first box that they have, that Terry has curated for the I Smell Books Company. And it says, Stop, spoiler card, read at your own risk. Get foxy with the I Smell Books curated sleeping mask inspired by Among the Beasts and Briars for those long nights reading to get the ultimate daytime sleep. Who says you can't outfox those habits? I Smell Books has you covered. And stay cozy with one of I Smell Books must-haves, the fuzzy critter socks. It's that time of year and we all love comfort when we all sit back to feed. When a book subscription launch, what's a book subscription launch without some swag from yours truly? I smell books. Enjoy your exclusive I smell books tote. This tote will come out once a year and you are special because it won't be known by anyone else that these totes will be brought back every anniversary in October. One another? You'll just have to wait until October 2021 to receive another. Now this is something the crow about. The beautiful crow enamel thing was curated by I Smell Books with the inspiration of Among the Beasts and Briars cover in mind. Who loves that gorgeous cover? Definitely a stunning one, but never judge. Never lose your place in the golden lace dear bookmark. This cute little bookmark doesn't take up much space and adorable. Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston follows the story of Ceres, daughter of the royal gardener in Aloria, and her quest to free her town and family from the clutches of the cursed wood. Among the Beasts and Briars is an utterly enchanting read, filled with raw magic, whimsy, and heart. I had ordered a page, and that was actually Margaret Robertson of the New York Times. Uh, best-selling author of An Enchantment of Ravens and Sorcery of Thorns. And does have some of the other reviews by other authors. And it says, It's time to sniff your copy of Among the Beasts and Briars. I smell a beautiful adventure. What do you smell? Happy reading. When I count my blessings, I count you twice. And that is actually a quote by the curator of the company, Terry. So I still have no idea what these could be. I will actually have to message uh, Terry and find out. I'm not, I know for a fact she does know what they are. I'm stumped. So I will definitely let you guys know over on my Instagram post what they are uh, when I speak to her, but I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. And as for the surprise that I did talk about, I have a very exciting announcement to make. 
I have I was chosen a while back to be a VIP for Once Upon a Book Club box and I actually got an email from them the other day saying that they were actually going to be sending out one of their boxes for me to review as a VIP member and that's actually going to be my next video. So I will definitely let you guys know over on Instagram when I'm going to be filming and when the video is posted so you guys can go check it out. So until next time, curl up with a good book and get lost in an adventure all on your own. Take care.